Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Radius Mod Trivia campaign. We pick things up for episode 11 from turn 39 in the spring season of 198. So we pick things back up with a siege battle. Uh, we left it with the save here. And we're just going to be wiping out Tuan's faction for good. And continue to just basically take down the Man factions one by one. So let's jump into this fight. They once again have overwhelming uh, amount of men, but we should do fairly well with our siege weapons. So let's go. Alrighty, it's a mine. Um, we fought very similar fights before. I don't think they'll come out. I really wish they would. It'll make these fights so much quicker. Or else, if we want a clean fight, it's just a very slow process of marching up. Maybe we can charge some of the melee cab up. We'll see. Alright, we'll get rid of all the towers. Four shots should be good. Ooh, we actually didn't get this one. Okay, another shot. There we go. Now we're going to inch up. We're going to let them go first, I guess. We'll try to take out enemy range units. I mean, they saw us before. No surprise here. Let's see. One, two, three. Uh oh. Uh oh. I mean, we didn't lose anyone thanks to our decent range block chance, but I guess we want to skew this way. A little bit closer would be nice. Actually, I'm going to put them over here because when the enemy route, they come down this side and there's no range units here, so I think we're fine. There's a fire archer on that side, but maybe we just go here, we'll be okay. Alright, now we're ready to go. That density is hard to resist. Well, that rock might really hinder us. See. There's nowhere to hide. You guys only have so much space inside. Yeah, but that place is hard to hit because of that rock. Let's see what the result of that- oh, no, no, no. Give it a try. No? No shots. Okay. Alright, that unit should just be wiped.
decent amount of damage. That's that that might do it. That might be the one good hit we need. I think that not gonna do it. One more shot then. There we go. How many shots do we have? Four or five? Okay. I'm just gonna angle it so we can hit those units. I don't think they have the range to punish. So I'm gonna run them up to like here. Actually no, wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's the angle we want. Ooh. No. Okay, that got, that completely destroyed us. That one fire from behind right here by you guys. After we kill this, then they're really out of units. Alright, now fire whoever you want.
When will you guys surrender? Alright, he's out of ammo. It's our turn. This should be over soon. Alright, pick off their only range, and no one's unbreakable. They're just stubborn. Fire arrows up. Okay, okay. That might cause some problems. Avery are stuck here. Pull them back. Uh, disaster. We underestimated what they had inside. I Okay, now they all routed. That was not smooth, but we did it. There we go. He's finally done too. Alright, definitely a messy fight. Uh, novice captain, increased range damage. That's not terrible. This guard is not bad either. I'm just gonna take the item. Vang is pretty bad. Alright, to one faction is over. Let's see, strategist. I'm gonna take guerrilla deployment. I'm gonna take extra experience for the units. Xu Huang's also level seven. I guess we'll take more experience. We'll also take charge negation on his units. Let's copper mine. I'll take the heal. One turn away from that. That's pretty much it. That's really all we can do right now. And let's continue. All right, Liu Bei is coming back. Liu Bei is... Ooh, Sun Tzu wiped them out. We have one additional trade route then. Someone's trash talking us, Han Sui. Okay. See Ni declare war on Meng Huo. Sword Dance. What does he have as a trait that's enabling Sword Dance? Maybe Graceful? There's, there's, it's gotta be a trait that's like causing this. But anyways, burned officer from Sun Tzu, grudge against, oh Jiang Qiu's faction, right? Yep. We'll take you in, and also a sentinel, ideal um, administrator. Pass. Alrighty. 
Where did all the other Liu Bei officers went? Because I vacated his entire faction pretty much. Should I be concerned here? Yeah, I don't see Zhang Fei anymore. I don't see Guan Yu anymore. I don't see them being picked up by anyone either. They're probably in someone's recruitment pool. Ooh. We'll take that. Oh, Zhang Fei's still around because a lot of people with the discredit left. Okay. We'll just have to reset and continue that attack until we get rid of all of you. Now you... Wow, plus 16. What a defense. Plus 60. Wow. Okay, we'll work on these. Let's see who else they have. Li Ru, and that's it. Okay. What is he doing oh, here? Oh, he's no longer at war with Meng Huo. Alright, we're gonna take this to complete Jianning. Seems like we still have to fight it. It's Dai Lai. Oh, it's Man Yat, which is actually a pretty good faction-wide bonus right here. Meng Jie as well. Okay, we'll like both of them. Let's go. Back to back mining battles, um, no difference. I don't know if they'll charge out or not. I mean, most likely not, given that they're even favored against us, but I don't know, can't really assume. So we still have to do the setup as though they will charge out. I mean, the quality of this army is actually a lot better for this type of fight, because our cavalries are actually slightly more useful. Anyways, same start. They have better range units, right, because it's Dai Lai who Zhu Rong's old, old um, retinues. This one we always miss. Hmm, interesting. There we go. It's it's the angling with the rocks, I think. We might kill him just with the shots right here. Highly likely. On route. He'll go back. There we go. He's gone. We have excellent range here.
Oh. Oh. He got off the machine too. All right. We should have five points of range on them. So we're going to try to use that to pick them off. We have 10 points of range on them. Hello, we brought a lot of archers. We'll give them a little fire damage to help them route. Okay, save the rest for the fire archers. We're going to pick off units that we cannot charge at. Very difficult to charge through. And they're getting picked on over here. Why why can't we go this way? Our routing is messed up. There we go, lower you guys outside. They're out of ammo. Try to get a couple shots over there. Kill these two. Route them if we can. Prefer not direct death. I'm gonna pull back. We're actually getting overran. stream in that's not a real charge These sieges are quite the grind. Oh, too bad he's not willing to come to us, but we get an item. Hmm. I can't diplomacy with them, but I can do this. They got themselves some elephants. Any gold items? Nope.
Yeah, Sun Tzu is going to sweep across the coast here. And it looks like he has Chamoka down to one territory. And they're pressing into it. Okay, good for him. I don't think we have much to do. Oh, we did lose a trade agreement, so we could get a new one. I'm going to trade with Gong Sun Zan. I know I'm never going to really get into a conflict with him anytime soon. Give him some free value. Maybe not. But I don't think he cares for cash. Everyone's super rich. I don't have much to offer him. Or I can't ask him for much back. Alright. Be that way. And we'll stash another one of these chests. Alright, all's good. Let's continue. Assuming... Oh, no, no, no. Let's not make any assumptions here. Plenty of upgrades to do. If we had more food, I would push for this to be upgraded. I mean, for us to go from here to here, it's going to take exactly 10 food, which I don't want to cut it that close. Then seasonality can really kill us. Yeah, so we can't do much. Let's continue. All right. Very smart for the Numan rebels to come out and attack us instead of getting closed in by two armies. Uh, but we're ready for them, of course. All right. We're going to play this one a little bit differently. Um, we've been, you know, enjoying are set up a bit too much in my opinion. We're going to, need to utilize our brand new gifts here in the Heavy Lance Cavalry and play around with them. Pull these back a little so don't get shot at. We're still going to protect them, but we're going to set it up a little differently. Actually, why don't you guys stay with them? They feel like they could get attacked. Actually, I'll ride out with you guys. Only you don't have this. It's his low cunning then, I think. They don't have a lot of spear units, so a frontal charge, I think, will work just fine. Of course, they have elephants and such, and they have range, so we're going to take damage. Like, the goal here is not to take no damage, but it's just to have a little glorious charge into the enemy front lines. I think we should mostly take the high ground and charge down on them. He can probably pull into the forest and close in on the range units. We're getting shot at already. First unit, charge! Ride! Ride for glory! Wave 2, go! You guys get the elephants. Alright. I don't think they're facing the right way. Nope. Look at how we erased that unit. Alright, 
Everyone, evasion. Pull back. Get ready for another charge. Alright, they're ready. Right in there. This hill. Also downhill charge. I'll get into position. You get there. You take them. Go. Flank from the back. I think we... I mean, the elephant's still here, but I think we have them... ...pretty much under control. Alright, you set up for another charge. Stay on the elephants. Stay on them. Break formation for more speed. Close in on this guy. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Different way to play this. Alrighty. Teaches them a lesson. Test out our new heavy lance cavalry. I like his traits. I also don't mind his uh, background. Eh, so so. Who has the elephant? He does. Well, you're coming with me. You. Not so much, but I don't hate you. I guess we'll just take the all three. No point to discriminate. Ready took two. Alrighty. Yuan Shao and Gong Sun Zhan finally going at it. Han Fu got killed. Their, their historical events a little bit lacking. The Liu Bei rebels, led by Yan Bai Hu, is uh, signing some deals, getting them to join the war against Liu Bei. Yao Feng is picking on Mu Lu. What? How old are we? 61, you old dog. And what about our wife? Oh, yeah, he's getting hurt. We gotta pull him, I guess. Don't get him killed. She's... Oh, she's only 29. Wait, didn't we divorce her? So we were... We were catfishing with her while she was pregnant. Ah, Zhang He came to us after Han Fu got wiped. Wonderful. We'll grab you. Uh, he's not a spy because his former faction died. Anfu's son. Not a fan. The item's not worth it. Okay. So. Ah Hui Nan. Ah Hui Nan. Well, let's see. I don't care about him. I think we just go straight. I hate how this is not working. Yeah, so in essence, this will be better. Just give him a huge bodyguard. Range damage? Maybe. I don't even know if that's going to actually get applied. Yeah, now it has to be questioning everything. 
All right, they gave us a shot. They failed. The cavalry did great. We're gonna give them, let's see, 8% more damage. I hope we can just delegate this. Okay, good. We're going to declare war against Sini. And then our two armies, one goes north, one goes south. Trespassing through Wutugu's land, or we go here first and then turn this way. Yeah, let's not mess with him yet. We stabilize him for now. Well, just with a gift. We'll pick on him last. Stash a few more. We have six of those now. We can probably start getting some um, administrator chest down the line. But right now, I'm fine. Finally a reform, finally another spy. That's all the spies we can get from the reform tree, I believe. We're probably going to end up getting that soon. Might as well just finish the blue tree while we're here. Ah, oh, no one interesting, actually. He's injured. He can't do anything this turn. Right, he's on the cooldown turn. Everything's cheaper with him, which is nice, but it looks like I can't... Everyone's happy enough that I can't uh, do anything to the whole faction. And there's only one character who I can even lower one point. Don't draw also not dead in this run. That's also kind of interesting. We have way too much points. I'm right, getting 60 here next turn. He is in the army. There might not be much that I can do. Yeah, there really isn't much that I can do. I mean, I can repeatedly do Empower Trade. I think it does just stack even from one source. Yeah, it's 10 turns. I think usually you get five per use. So we get like, you know, we can get infinite turns of that essentially. Actually, why don't we do that? Because we're getting 60 here. So if we don't use this, we lose it. We'll still be at 99 next turn, and this way I get 25 turns of it. Alright, that's all settled. I think it's time to invest in another army as things over here are getting a little bit heated up. Sun Tzu is trying to power through Shamoka's last territory. He's sailing more armies over. He's huge. Definitely a threat. Not Duke yet though, so underdeveloped is my guess. Um, this is going to be a point where he might come at me from the river. So I think here's where we will invest in Cao Ren, Zhang He. Hopefully they get along. Yes, and then we find them strategists. Liu Dai. Perfect. Now, let's see who we want to get rid of. We're going to start here. So we're probably going to... Hmm, should we try something different with this army? But this one is... We're probably not going to do Juggernauts. I think that one would kind of overdone. We could test out crossboats. It's generally flat over here, I think. And we don't have to get turtle units in that case. I mean, we have access to turtle units. Even these yellow axes are turtle units. Right, so if we do... Hmm. Yeah, if we do have turtle units and yellow axes is something we can try, I could just stick to this. The flame is still visually the most attractive. Let's see what we can give you. So far, you only have... Leon Darling, ah, uh, that's not cool. 
armor, jian, heavy axe, nan yue ba. The heavy axe is probably what we're most interested in. Even these have extra damage against infantry, but they have just a higher armor piercing damage profile. The armor on these are really nice. What about Ba Axe, man? Okay, Ba Axe men have... Wait, who are we comparing with who? Okay, here we go. Ba Axe men has higher morale, same charge, same damage, uh, higher damage, one point. Uh, better evasion, better shield armor, but less body armor. 50% is a sweet spot for 95%, faster speed. I think they're better. These bot axemen are better than them. We could go that route. We could also just abuse cavalry here, because Zhang He eventually can pick up these. Man, I wish we can reroll his. He has decent amount of cunning. Yeah, actually, let's do that. I quite like these northern mounted archers. No, nor nor raiders. Right. I mean, these are the northern units that was released as part of the base divided DLC. So they're not exactly a radius unit, per se, but uh, on Zhang He, they can eventually pick up fire arrows too. Qingzhou Overwatch, medium sword infantry, no shield. It's, it's terrible, I think. Give it a little bit of missile resistance to make up for it. Oh, I don't actually have access to yellow. Oh, I don't, I'm not high enough level to get... Oh, no, they're right here. They're right here. Tiger Cubs will keep. Hold on, then. I just want to switch these two, then. Visually, it'll be more even on the sets. Um, let's see what else we can grab. Northern Saber, Nine UF Raiders, Northern Lance. I feel like we could use another... Maybe a Ba Guard. Something to protect the flank flank. Yeah, maybe when they get higher level, I might switch a few things out. But right now, this is fine. Eventually, he should lead. He's the only one in this army that can get reach. I'm gonna go with this. That would give him some range for now. See, that doesn't actually help. No bow here. Only got one of those cavalry. Extra morale. Pass. I guess we'll take the stat boost. Melee damage for his for himself. Sure, he has a good weapon. Take the stats. Alrighty. Looks pretty good. We got another army set up. We have so much money that I feel like we should just rush everything. Two more food for another building slot. We'll take it. I don't have a real fourth building here that I want right now. Eventually, probably labor. Oh, labor grants actual industry income here. And definitely labor. Yeah, I forgot about that. 
We get 100 and I need to reform for the next one. So that, that one's full build for now. One of the administrator leveled up due to all the rushing that we did. That's done. Corruption's creeping up, but right now it's still under control. All right, that's all we really need to do. Let's continue. Oh wait, one level up. One of the administrators. There we go, pick up some income as well. Let's go. Liu Bei is looking for help as well. Oh, but Gong Sun's wow. Liu Bei's split is like splitting the entire north into two camps. Mulu finally got wiped. He's going to be able to join some other faction, of course, and then we can try to grab him. He can be a decent administrator down the lane, too. Let's grab him for now. Any changes here? Jia Long, former faction leader. But let's see what we can do within these factions first. So a bunch of things timed out. You're new. Looks like you're a wife or something like that. Yet no one from Liu Bei got swayed. Zhang Sun? Huh. I mean, historically, who invited Liu Bei into the Shu lands? Ah, finally, a few people I can actually do some things to. Now, if I can only get Discredit Faction on there as well, or pick up another spy, which we cannot, which is really sad because <laughs> just to maintain this, I have to spam. It's going to benefit us throughout the campaign. I mean, every one that we can, we have done it. It's just not effective enough. 50, 18, yeah, same thing here. Like, there's no point to drop her to zero, and she's just gonna leave. That's not what we want. We want them to show up here. All right, that part is done. So many empowered trade. How many turns of it do we have? 64 turns. Um, someone talked bad about us. We'll try to fix that in the future. The good news is we don't have to fight any of them. Yeah, we're keeping an eye out for him. That's why this army is here. I'm going to pick him off first and then slowly walk over there afterwards. He might just come fight me. This garrison, not the greatest, but if they take it, I can take it back, no big deal. Uh, down south. Sun Tzu lost to Shamoku. They held on. For now. I mean, eventually I think they will fall down. Full build, full build, full build, full build, full build. Waiting for reforms or waiting for food, both of which we're not going to get fighting here, but that's the only thing we can do, so let's just continue for now. I don't think there's much else to do. All right. Yeah, they're still busy in the north. I don't like greedy. Pass on both. Picked up a nice horse. You guys are marching, huh? Bad idea. We can't reach them. How bad is this terrain? 
my gosh, they're getting away with it. Alright, speaking of terrain. We could get attacked by two armies. There's a potential of that happening, but we can definitely hold on if that's the case. Any new developments? I don't remember who I done it to. I don't remember if I did it to you. 45, I think maybe I have. I know we just used her last turn. I think we used her before too. Gonna pick him. I picked correctly. Now I'm just out of points. Gotta wait till next turn. What happened to you? Did you get recalled again? Does Don't Drill keep messing with him? Like, I can't use him to do anything. Wait, death of a friend? Who died? No one unique, please. No one unique, please. Okay, it doesn't look like anyone unique. Okay, still not much in terms of what we can do there. And still not much what we can do here. Oh, Swinsla did it. Tremelco is going to get wiped too. Second wave. Yeah, it's only for the time being. Boost ourself and buy... I'm going to buy one of the commandery chests for income. And give it to... Ah, who just leveled up. Will you look at that? I can give you this as well. So these give 12 points of expertise each. These give 8. Nice. And he's in Jianning, right? So that's an industry town. So we want to give him... This one right here, attending secretary. Alright, let's see what Sini, you know, will they attack us or will they just keep moving through the territory? Yeah, he got... Wait, I don't know. He's, he's getting recalled or something. It's weird. Maybe he's coming back to me. No, he's still at 31. Still fine. Uh, poison arrow... No, let's work towards patience. Uh, we have a lot of these things timing out. Okay, let's see what we can do. I would love to boost industry here in Dianning. Commerce is not bad either. Do we have that? There we go. Wait, I think I saw a surplus market. I'll take that as well. Zhangke needs at least a... Yep. Has it. Has it. Solid. You don't like to work here. Mm, fine. We can boost peasantry. It's a level 5 here. Alright, that's good. Let's uh, continue here. Mong Huo really wants peace. What else do you have? That's all you have. No, then. All right. Chamoko got officially wiped. Let's see if there's anything fun. Um, not useful. She can't turn as a spy, so I guess my best shot is try to get a reroll on the proper character. It's possible. Eventually we can get one. What do you have that's plaguing you? Careless. 
not the worst thing. I'm sure we have like a vein somewhere. Now it's gonna take us forever to find one, but. Temperament greedy. Ah, greedy should go. It's not very good. Wait, who's court? He's in Meng Huo's court. Not surprised. Yes, please reset. I'll take this bonus. It's it's strong, but I, I don't know if we're actually summoning new armies. We might. We have so much money, we might as well. We also get a new reform. Now, we're probably not going to finish these because our buildings are kind of stuck. And the money that we can get from these are really not important. I need to get these level 4 buildings or even, yeah, when you get these level 4 buildings first right here. 10%, mm, let's go here. Lower on the branch means faster for the next reform. Two turns. Anything exciting here? Nope, got less interesting, but... Ooh, he recruited new people, which means I know I can use them for more faction-wide hits. Young Fei is once again at zero. Yan Yu is at zero. He's coming back. Wei Yan's at zero. Anyone wants to turn? See, no one wants to turn at zero. It, it's weird. You just got a bunch of very loyal but very unhappy people. So these are the three that I already dropped, but I can't use discredit faction on them. I can't do much. <laughs> Except for. <laughs> uh, there's really nothing I can do. I, okay, I can. It cost me zero to ask for a pursuit of military assignments. I I literally get sixty back. Oh my god! I can do this four more times. All right. We're good for how many turns? One hundred twenty-two turns. <laughs> Um, chest wise, let's see. I can probably get oh, another one of these. Yeah, there's really no need for construction right now. Doesn't do us anything. Oh, we can do this for military boost? Hmm. Let me get another one of these. I'm sure I have an administrator that doesn't have anything good right now. There we go. Alright, this can probably be our save point. Looking elsewhere across the map, they didn't move, they encamped, so we can get fights here. Um, should be fun, we can fight them together. That way we could double the siege and it would be on encamped map, so there's things to burn. So I think we'll do that uh, first thing next episode, then also wipe them out. We're still in the process of cleaning out the Naman forces. There's plenty of them. Sun Tzu has taken care of our uh, Eastern Front. Now hopefully he shifts his focus to the Han factions and then shift them up. If he can wipe out the Han Empire for us, that would be great too. Uh, then I don't have to have that blood on my hand and we can move up into this and then we can take the North as well. I don't know how long we're going to play this campaign because we're already seeing some issues with Radius mod. Not only are there just so much so many armies to fight but the money you know it just gets it snowballs too quickly because they increase all the income so like money is no objective all the commanders we get we can instantly upgrade everything to max and we'll still have hundreds and hundreds we're gonna hit millions of income so like the campaign at that point like there's no difficulty right i can arm every single i can arm all my armies on the field but like the result it's kind of like you already know what's going to happen I'm still going to try to push to Duke at least. They increase the prestige point required to hit Duke though. I feel like they gave you a lot to to unlock things quickly, but then they slowed you down for the faction rank up. Right? I, like usually 300 is Duke. Now it's 600? Like 500 was king, I believe. So yeah, it just feels weird.
unlocks diplomatic option to vassalize other front yeah so we can't even do that i think they're trying to keep the ai from vassalizing everyone as well but like i don't know the pacing just feels off like swinso is this big but he's not due because it's 600 points that's what's going on yeah it's a little weird but i'm having fun killing the rest of them on factions i want to extract as many generals from him as possible like dai lai zhu rong um zhang wo ke uh, they should all be in his faction. So we'll try to get it from him. Once that fails, I'll try to get it from Wu Tugu as well. Even though I kind of want Wu Tugu himself, so I might wipe him out first and just keep Meng Huo alive somewhere and let him keep summoning units so that we can actually fight them and uh, take them. So that's the goal. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one and see you all next time. Bye!